Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome. Um, today I thought I'd give you a quick update. This is going to be kind of like a update planner chat. Um, I'm going to kind of share with you what I'm using um, for the month of June. I have basically I'm kind of doing the same things. My system is the same. It's just I'm using different notebooks and different covers just to keep things interesting. Um, so let's go ahead and let's leave this one for last because it's the biggest one and the biggest change <laughs> and um if you did not catch any of uh, my previous videos for my uh my war binder i will link, link that below so this has been morphing into kind of my faith war binder slash self-care and i love when a notebook kind of morphs into what i need um you know my needs are uh, are ever present um, on a daily basis and um, depending on what I'm going through some months are better than others or some weeks some days are better than others and so I don't use this every single day but when I do need it it's there and available and already set up so and I keeping it up so that you don't have the glare of the light so this is a promise the NLT promise Bible promise book for women it just has scripture let me pull it out right quick it just has scriptures to help, you know, um, with anger. Top, this is more topical, deliverance, depression, con contentment, um, joy, overwhelmed. This has been me lately. <laughs> ah, so, uh, bless this hot mess. And I love that sticker and it's appropriate. So I have uh, this set up. If you, again, if you have not seen this video, I'm not gonna go through it. Uh, in depthly, I just kind of want to show you what I've updated it from the last video and again I will link that below um, but I changed some of the topics a little bit I changed this to scripture versus Bible study and then based on my heart toolbox which is here all the different uh, you know things that I go through or I can go through I don't always go through everything um, in a particular day or, or every day but if I'm experiencing anxiety which is the main thing that I experience from this list um, these are the, like the little steps that I can take this is to me this is a visual um, and that's kind of what I like I like things right in front of me I like things put together so when I need it it's there I don't have to stop and think because when I'm in a high I'm either at a low medium or high if I'm in a very high anxiety I tend not to pull things together. You know, it has to be ready for me. So if this is an example, um, these are ideas that I can do. Praise and worship, war for scripture, who I am in Christ, and God's, you know, write God's truth. So there I will use these back pages and I took each topic here. So, and this is where I'm going to, as I find um, scriptures, I'm gonna be filling this out. So I wrote anxiety, worry, Anger, unforgiveness, rejection, uh, procrastination, and OCD. And I did find a very good article. Um, if I can find it again, I think I saved it. I will link it below in regards to scriptures that will help with um, OCD. And I like reading stuff like this because this is based on uh, scripture and how to, you know, overcome anxiety with the word of God and with God's help. But it really helps because sometimes we, for someone who's suffering with OCD and anxiety, we feel like alone sometimes. You know, if nobody talks about it, we feel like we're the only one that's experiencing something like this. And sometimes it, um, you know, we start thinking I'm alone or why am I feeling this way? You know, um, I'm a Christian. I should not be feeling this way, those kind of things. And so when I read articles like this, um, and these are faith-based that it encourages me and then again, you know reading scripture it encourages me in the Lord so Old Testament I really want to uh, work on certain specific books in the Bible because I am uh, Just reading the Bible right now. I do want to spend time Studying a specific book in the Bible. I'm really enjoying the Bible plan and I'll share in a minute what I'm doing um, but I thought I'd break it down between Old Testament and New Testament. And this is verse mapping. 
Again, this has changed from the last time. And then uh, inspiration, anything inspirational, I put it here. And these could be quotes. These can be, you know, uh, just anything. Um, when I am waiting for my A5 domino, I did end up ordering an A5 domino, a blue, a blue one. Um, because I have the pocket and I'm enjoying this so much and I also have the personal. I want the A5. So I went ahead and ordered it. So I have the complete set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this and this is just going to be my battle plan and uh, scriptures and then Old Testament, New Testament and uh, uh, verse mapping. I may leave that there just because if I find a scripture that's really helping me, I like to verse map it sometimes. But the Bible study, basically, I'm going to separate it and put it in the uh, A5 domino because I'm going to need a little more room to work in it. This here I've had for a while. Um, it's a Webster's cover for composition notebooks. This is, I, this doesn't match very much, of that, <laughs> but um, I wanted to start writing scripture, not a you know, scripture writing on a month to month basis. I'm still doing that based on topics, but I wanted just to write like a book. So I started off with Genesis and this is where I use my blue pen and then my black. And I just feel led to just write scripture. So I wanted to use my composition notebook. I love composition notebooks. If you've been following me for a while, you know that if I want to use a specific notebook, I will find a reason to use it. So scripture writing, I may go ahead and, and for now, I left this like this. I may put some scrapbook paper on here to decorate it, I don't know. Because it's purple, to me, that reminds me of royalty, of Jesus. So I kind of wanted to leave that for scripture. It To me, it doesn't really matter if it doesn't match with the front. But I know this is the floral. Um, it's gonna be for scripture writing. This, I would do it when I feel led to. And if I do scripture write, I do time myself. I set the timer for 15 minutes and then I write. Therefore, I don't feel overwhelmed. This is gonna be a project. It's gonna be a long-term project. It's however long it takes me. It's gonna take me. And am I gonna write the whole Bible? Right now, I'm just focusing on two books, which is Genesis and the book of Psalms, which you'll see in a minute. And this is a Bible bag. This is from Moonsed. I got this on Amazon. I will link it below. And I was trying to figure out a way to include everything that I want to work on in one case. So instead of having all my books separated or even in front of me, I have this, you know, this little organizer that I keep things in. But I have a lot of other things in there. I just wanted to keep my faith stuff here. So if I, um, my, my office is in the basement. So if I want to go upstairs, I can just, you know, take this like this. Or if I wanted to, uh, my daughter's going to be in volleyball. Uh, to, this week she has a volleyball camp Monday through Wednesday in the morning. So I can take this with me. I don't have to search anything. It's just here and I can easily take it with me. So when I'm here on my desk, it's all I do is open it up. Sorry for the glare there. And it's everything that I need is readily available. So it's going to really, it really helps me to have everything that I need to accomplish my goals, at least for the month of June, to have everything in one central place. Um, because a lot of times I get distracted. I'm, I'm sure I've mentioned that before. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. Um, okay, so I have all my pens that I need just for here. Now, I have a lot of pens up here in my pen case. I have different types of pens, but when I open this, I don't want to be searching for highlighters or pens or anything. So um, I've been working in here for several days now, and I figured out exactly what I need. Now, I'm not using mild liners. I'm using the Sharpie, and this one is a big pen, but I'm using the Sharp Sharpie highlighters. And as I show you my notebooks, you can see where I use them. Um, for this Bible, I'm using the Big Soft Feel uh, Fine Point. And this is just, you know, a regular pen. You can get this at Walmart. It's um, kind of soft and it has a rubber grip. And I like that. And the reason I like this pen is because it's not really dark. And so for this thin paper, 
if it's the pen is too dark, even the regular ballpoint, it will kind of show through on the other side of the page. Um, and it makes my writing look muddled. So these pens here, the Precise V5 and RT, the black and blue, that's what I use for scripture writing in this little B6 um, composition notebook. And that's where I have my, the book of Psalms that I'm writing. And then this, I just left it in here in case I need it because it has black, blue, and red. So this little Hobonichi, um, before I go into here, let me, let me show you the rest of here. So this Bible is an ESV large print uh, Bible. And the Bible reading plan that I'm using is called the Grant Horton. Let me pull it out because <laughs> I always forget. This is the Grant Horner um, Bible reading plan. And the way this works, and I'll, I'll try to explain this, but there's many videos online. Um, and when I read, I just pull this out. Um, and basically there's gonna be 10 tabs. He has these tabs. And you're basically reading 10 chapters a day. So the way this works is you're supposed to cut these out and then put them in, you know, the first, very first book of each one. And I don't like having slips of paper and having it fall out of my Bible. So what I did is I created, um, you know, post-it tabs like this. If you see that? And they're numbered. So it goes by this. So uh, list one, I will start with Matthew 1. So I just go right here, the Gospels. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm already on chapter 7. We finished 6 today. So as I'm reading... And the Bible plan, this Bible plan is on you version and it automatically reads it for me. Um, it's the ES, I'm using the ESV version, um, but it has the first book of each book all together in one plan. And I love it because I just play it and then I have my tabs and then I go to each tab as I need. And it's not uh, to stop and study. It's not to analyze because that's what I do. I am trying to um, keep things interesting for me. The reason I, one of the reasons I like this plan is because it's taking a chapter from each um, genre. So I'm a Charlotte, I homeschool, so I'm very familiar with Charlotte Mason. Um, and she was big on, um, you know, having a big feast of different types of books. And so this made sense to me as I'm starting to read it. And it's interesting because as you read through each book, so basically scripture is going to be interpreting scripture as you read and as you, um, through the books, um, you know, things are just going to click and make sense. I'm just trying to read here. Um, it says after you read any particular book once, and then you keep on to the end and then you start over. So you will never read the Bible the same way again, because you're going through it you know, however many times you want to read the whole Bible. So every year you read the gospel four times, the Pentateuch twice, Paul's letters four to five times each, the Old Testament wisdom literature six times, Psalms at least twice, Proverbs um, and Acts a dozen times, so once one time a month, um, and all the way through the Old Testament history and prophetic books about one and a half times. So, um, and it's interweaving consistently. And it takes me about 40 minutes when I use the, you know, the, the um, audio Bible and I can read it myself. I wanna see if I retain more with that, but it says here, stay relaxed, focus, and just keep it moving at moderate, but consistent speed is the key. Um, I like the example that he gives here. It says microbiology or the study of organs makes sense when you know what the whole structure of the human body is like and, and how all the parts, large and small, relate in perfect interdependence. So we're not doing, you know, dissecting. We're just an overall picture of the word. And as you continue reading, um, it's all going to make sense. And then 
you know, scripture again is going to interpret scripture. And that's the main thing that, um, that I wanted. So anyway, that is, I'll leave the link to that below. Um, I'm going to try it for 30 days. I said to at least try it for 30 days and I'm only on chapter, what did I say? Seven. So here I just have some post-its, um, in case I need it. And then here in the front, I just have a little, uh, target dollar spot pocket with these cards from, um, David Jeremiah from Turning Point. And these are scriptures that I can basically claim and pray. And so I have that available there. On this side, I have a B6 composition notebook that I am writing the book of Psalms. And so that's what that looks like. And I'm just enjoying writing scripture right now. You know, um, if I feel, because these are bound books, that's why I started Psalms here, because I was writing Genesis in my big composition notebook. I wanted to start on Psalms and I was like, well, how many pages do I leave in my composition notebook? And I was thinking, you know, I can just start a separate little, um, little one just for Psalms. And if hopefully it'll all fit. And if it doesn't, I have a second notebook that I can start. I got this from, from Dollar General. Was it last year? I think for devotions, I am doing the Dr. David Jeremiah turning points. Um, I do have the in touch that I used to use and I have tons of these that I've never used. So it date doesn't matter to me. Um, but I, uh, wanted to start this one because he's doing uh, spiritual warfare this month. And so I thought that would be perfect. So these are his devotions. I like them because they're short. See how short they are? And it's just nuggets of information. So he starts off with scripture, just a couple of paragraphs. He has recommended reading. He has a kind of like a, a little action plan here and then a turning point. He always ends it with a turning point and he uses a quote from like here's Charles Stanley, here's William Corral, and uh, John Knox. And um, I'll show you how I've been using that in my Hobonichi weeks, but I'm really enjoying this. Also, this is for free. So you can go online and um, ask for this for free. He has these bookmarks, just like the ones I have here. These are different. Um, it's called the Warrior's Prayer Bookmark, and these are also for free. And I'll try to, you can, I'll link it below because I have everything on, you know, on my phone. And, um, but this again is for free. And then he also has online, you can download the app, uh, sermons that go to each day. So if you want to do a thorough Bible study and listen to him preaching um, the topic, the new kind of armor or Satan's way, and um, this is online. Again, you can download the app on your phone or go on the on his website. I have not listened to anything yet um, because I've been busy with, you know, scripture writing and I have to pick and choose. Um, I may listen to one or two maybe during the week. Um, if I have time, but my main thing is finishing my scripture writing and my Bible reading plan. I do not want to get distracted from that. So that is that. Again, I just have this in here if I need it or want to use it. This in here is my, uh, here, let me pull it out. I won't open it up because those are, you know, um, my faith journaling. In the front, I have a little pocket. And then in the front, I have these printouts. This is from thescribesportion.com. She has faith journal prompts. And so these are just little journal prompts that, like the first one is, how can I hear God's voice? This is just something personal between you and God, how you write. And then in the very back, I have, you know, the rest of them. And I just minimized it. So this is July. I have all year. August and so on. And I have those back here. I really wanted to use this journal. And so I found a reason for it and I'm just going to use it for faith journaling. And I can also use it for prayers. You know, any faith, any journaling related to faith will go in there. So 
that's all I have for now for this. Let me put everything back and then I'll show you my, my faith weeks. Okay. So this is my uh, faith weeks. And if you've been following me for some time, this was started off as a faith and I switched it to a, a Bujo companion to carry all my to do's and my schedule for on the go. And then I stopped using that and I started using my um, pocket domino for my bullet journal companion. And I switched this back to a faith because I wanted to use the weeks. I always miss end up missing the weeks. So what I did was here in the weekly pages, um, I wanted to think about how did I want to use this again. And so a lot of this I've left the way it is. So here in the beginning, I have who I am in Christ. I wrote that, you know, wrote that out in the beginning of the year that stays there. Um, here in the monthly, here's my scripture writing for June, which is mental health. And I wrote all the scripture references. I have some resources here that I found online. It's at Christian Mental Health. Um, that's on Instagram. And then here on YouTube, she's Brittany Moses. And so I, again, will tag that below in case you're interested. Um, but I wanted to really use this organically. And because sometimes I really don't have a plan on how I want to use something. And it's based on, again, my needs. So I started, and the only reason I have washi up here because I ruined this. I try to use a Sharpie, um, one of these markers. <laughs> and I ruined the page, so I just put some um, washi up there. So I just scripture write, and I just put a little bit of washi there. And then on this page, I was thinking, well, how do I want to use this? And so I went online and I found this little quote. And it says, Dear Christian, you're not failing in your faith. You're having a human experience that's challenging you to learn more healing tools along the way. So I love that because that's what all this is, is, you know, um, tools to worship the Lord, to magnify his name, to worship him in spirit and in truth. That's what everything that I have, they're tools to worship the Lord. But also, there also I do have some tools to help me in um, through my walk, through my faith walk, and through my struggles. So I that's what I love the Hobonichi weeks for. So below here, I just wrote some affirmations, you know, um, and everything's based on scripture. And my one that I that I just love is I feel I am safe. And when I say I'm safe, I am safe in his arms. Because when I close my eyes, I can see that. I am safe under his wing. Um, and, you know, sometimes we go through struggles. Um, and the older I get, um, my mental health is important to me. And I need to take care of myself. I, I didn't do that for many, many, many years. And um, I'm reaping basically what I sowed. And um, so... I, I always find that it's important to self-care is very important because if I'm not well mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, I cannot take care of my family. So it's important for me to take care of myself early in the morning and then therefore I have my cup gets filled and therefore I have to give, you know, to my family. My family can tell when I haven't had alone time, my husband can tell and you know, my kids too. So that's kind of when I seclude and I say, I, I need some alone time. That's what kind of what that means. <laughs> so here is the following week. I have everything prepped. Here's, I just wrote June there because I did, you know, cover it with washi. I'm keeping it simple. So here in the back, these are my devotions. Um, these are my devotions from Turning Point. And I write the scripture here and then I write one, you know, in the bottom where it had, um, you know, like that course of action of that devotion. I write that here. I color code because I, when I look at color, it means something to me. So blue is like the word of God blessings. Um, pink is very important. And then anything in orange is actionable. You know, that's what I have. What do I have to do in order to accomplish this? So oh, brown is anything that has to do with sin. So that's that. And then here I started writing the quotes from each devotion day. 
and I always write quotes in this color pen, which is a Uniball Signal. And that's it. And I will keep on using that as is. And if I have any like Bible studies, um, like if I listen to David Jeremiah online, I can keep some of his notes in here just so I keep everything together. So that's all I have. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. I'd be happy to answer them. I will also link, um, you know, the information about the devos and the bag and anything that I can find um, down below in case you're also interested. But please like this video. And if you have not subscribed, please do so so you can get notifications of all my future videos. And again, thank you. And until next time.